Hello, hello, hello. It's the new year. Happy 2017. I feel like it's one thing to say it's 2017, but when I think that it's actually January, that's what scares me. Oh my God, it's January. Hello, it's the new year. Where did you think it was gonna start? From April, your birthday? So, how's everyone doing? I hope you had a great Christmas break, a nice New Year's Eve, and everything in between. I know I did. Cold as hell. People be like, oh, why are you in LA? You're lucky. I am, because it's my favorite city in the whole wide world, and because I'm just generally a lucky person. However, it's cold here. That has nothing to do with my luck. It's just, it gets cold. I'm freezing now. You should feel my, my fingertips. I'm wearing this, but really, it's colder indoors than it is outdoors too. It's one of the reasons I'm the hell out of the house. Other than that, I feel like going shopping, because why not? New, new year, new me, or new something. What's that thing that is trending? So let's talk New Year's resolutions. What are yours? Mine, I'll tell you after you tell me yours. I recently um, added a forum section on my website. Forum board, boards, or whatever you want to call them. The, the chat part. So if you want, oh God, I'm blocking his way, sorry. So if you would like to have a chat about whatever, check out my website. It's bobalobro.com and the forum is, you'll see it on the top. Um, other than that, I had a nice Christmas and nice everything, gifts and whatnot. And uh, so this is what I wanna talk about. I did this thing three years ago it would have been two years ago, but all of a sudden we're in another year. Three years ago, I did this thing whereby um, for 28 days, that every single day you do something different to to zen you out, so to speak. You know what I mean? Um, to put you in a nice, positive frame of mind. Should I do this? And there's a bus there that stopped in the bus stop and a car behind uh, in right in front of the light so I'm just gonna take a shortcut here and do this just today but um, anyway the first day I would like you to invite you to do this with me if you're interested and see the kind of um, differences it'll make in your life it's amazing it's not a, a, like a, a, a like a religion thing or an anything thing it's just a thing to make you feel great in your life about your life and to exude positivity and I think that we all need that don't you day one is about gratitude so you say thank you first thing in the morning you write 10 things that you're grateful for For example, I am grateful to live, to be living in my favorite city in the whole wide world. You know, because not everybody gets that chance. Because it had been a dream of mine all my life that I didn't even know what was, was possible. And I'm filled with gratitude that it's happening. Your reasoning doesn't have to be that long. I'm grateful for my car. Because let's face it, it's my dream car. At least it was my dream car when I bought it at the time. I have another dream car now that I'm working towards. Because I worked towards getting this. Not just go, getting up and going to work. I visualized it, I put it in my vision board. I did all kinds of amazing things. And I was like, let's see. That was when I was testing this whole thing. I was like, let's see if this thing actually works. Um, I want this specific car and let's see if it's gonna happen. I would 
visualize it every night whenever I thought about it I would imagine myself sitting in the driver's seat on my leather seats driving imagine myself or visualize myself turning on the signal and hearing the and parking it in front of my place I lived in Vegas at the time parking it in front of my place and waking up in the middle of the night picking through the blinds looking at my car and picking through the blinds and looking at my car and just being so happy that oh my god my dream has come true my car is out there so um I went through all kinds of things. I, I, wrote, I wrote about this in my blog on my website, if you want to check it out. it's um, I have a tag or a label, Law of Attraction, so it'll be one of the posts under that. I, visual, I manifested a, a number of things and continue to do so. So what you do is, when you're done with all those writings, I'm grateful for my great eyesight because Blah, blah 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 grateful for my amazing voice because I get to make money doing the one thing that I love the most these are examples I I'm not a singer right now as a career um, just to give you an example of what you can write you write I'm grateful for because because they say that when you say because you are it's making it sink in because it's just like standing in assembly back in the day at school and saying, Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that'll be the... It's not even sinking in. It's such a habit. You're so used to doing it. But if you say, you know, you could go through, I'm grateful um, that that cop didn't give me a ticket today. I'm grateful that blah, 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 blah. And just go over 10 things before you know it. You're done and none, nothing has sunk in. So when you say, because then it's really sinking in that I'm grateful for such and such and such because why okay because a b c and d and then you really feel the feeling of gratitude it's that feeling that draws more things that you will be grateful for towards you into your life that feeling it's all about the feeling um, you can say it if you don't mean it and cannot feel it you know you say it until you blew in the face and I'm blue in the face and everybody's blue in the face so 10 things that you're grateful for that would be your first day you write 10 things that you're grateful for and then when you're done you would go over them read them after every line I'm grateful for a B C and Z because blah 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 blah, blah. then you would say thank you thank you thank you three times you say thank you I mean more if you want but no less than three times so you say thank you three times again to make it all sink in because you could say I'm grateful blah, 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 thank you I'm grateful blah, blah, thanks I'm grateful blah, blah. this is a moment for you it's like meditation this is just me time for you and um, when I started doing those ten things I'm grateful for every day I decided to just do ten things I'm grateful for every day I'm in my third notepad now just writing 10 things every day that I'm grateful for granted I have my days when I you know don't write but I make a mental note and when I get to my book I write for the previous day and you know current day or the day before or whatever but as of right now I'm at 7,900 and something things that I'm grateful for I number them because it's just incredible to think that those are all the things that happened to me and I'm you know I'm immensely grateful that they happened those things and more um, if you want if you want to write more than 10 please by all means go for it don't save some and think okay I'm gonna do what Brooke did too and continue to do this every day but what if I run out okay so I'm gonna save some no go crazy if you feel like writing 20 things you're grateful for, the feeling that you're going to get when you're done with this exercise is incredible. Then try and stay in that moment. You know, don't when you're done with that, be like, I can't wait to yell at these kids. Let me do this. And then as soon as I'm done, I'm telling you, no, that's not the point of this. Then continue all day long to 
be grateful. When you see somebody working in the street, like a construction worker or road person or whatever, you can either thank them or in your head be thankful that we have um, such and such people out there who make sure that our roads are nice and safe, who make sure that we're safe in our um, neighborhood, um, that your spouse is in your life because blah, blah, blah. I don't know why you, you, you're grateful for your spouse. I hope that you are. Oh my gosh, I just realized my pants have a hole in them. <gasps> down there. This is crazy. What the hell are they doing down there anyway? Well, I'm grateful for that too. For my finger. What? Does she realize that I'm in the car and I can see her talking and pointing at my car? All right, I'm going to go to Walmart now and um, get what I need. And I think what better way to start a year than this way. All right, have a good day. Bye.